channel your inner outdoors. Just because the word inner is in there, doesn't mean you stay inside sitting on the couch sipping hot cocoa on a day where you should be out trout fishing, freezing your ass off and catching some trout. Yeah. Today we're trout fishing. We got cold fingers. We got snow falling down. And you're in for an epic how to winter trout fish video. Let's get right into this and start fishing. Slow moving presentations are definitely the name of the game. And what I recommend is throwing tube jigs, throwing little spinners you could let sink down to the bottom and work slow. Some spoons you could bounce off the bottom. Step one is to figure out where the fish are located. They like the slow moving water like I'm fishing right here. Any sort of cover, any deep pockets where there's not too much current moving through. Once you locate the fish and realize that you're fishing water that's holding some fish, you need to figure out the lure that they're keen onto. The trout are very picky in the winter and I could be throwing this tube jig and working it way too fast or not at the bottom of the water column. I won't get bites throughout the entire day. But the second I start working it better, I might get bites or maybe not. And if I'm not getting bites, you gotta switch your lure and figure out what the fish wanna see because the trout are always there. That's the rule I live by. This is a good wintering hole for these fish kind of just be chilling and looking for bait to be pushing down the river. And they're not just gonna be sitting in the middle of the river here. They're gonna be over on the other side where you got the fallen trees, any sort of brush that they can hide in and ambush prey as it floats down. So it definitely takes some risky casts where you might get snagged up. So this tree right here should honestly have a fish. So at this point the GoPro cut out and all I had was the iPhone filming with no audio. So let me break down to you guys what I was doing here. I casted the power bait tube 45 degrees downstream, let it sink to the bottom. And it was kind of sliding across current, swiping across the tree. And right as it got underneath the cover, this 16 inch brown came out and freaking smoked it. And what it showed me is these fish are looking for the slow moving jig style presentations. So after I landed this fish, I switched it up to a slight variation of the jig, which end up getting way more bites. And it just goes to show that you got to really be in tune with your environment when you're out there and notice what the fish are picking up on and switch your lure accordingly. That's a great sign because once you figure out the bait, these fish are keen onto, you're going to be catching some more nice winter time fish. This is a stocked fish, but Hey, we will take that beautiful looking brown. That's a good start. Let's get him back. Just put on the little power bait worm right here. My thought process with this is that these fish are biting jigs. So I wanted to try a slightly different presentation, see if we could pull another fish out of this hole right here. Like I was saying, during the winter time, the fish are always pulled up. So chances are there are a couple more fish where that brown trout came from. So hopefully throw you guys some more tips and catch some more fish. This spot right here is pretty much a prime example of winter trout fishing territory. You got some cover with the tree falling over. So the fish are gonna be pulled up just under that brush right there. And also you got a deep pocket of slow moving water. There's a lot of bait being pumped right through this tree. The brown trout are using it to their advantage and ambushing whatever comes down the river. Might even be able to pull another one out of here. There really could be another trout sitting under this tree. Oh, there he is. Got him. Got him. Second fish of the day. Oh, that's a bigger brown. Oh my God. He's putting up a good fight. Holy cow, we are on him. Instant bite, second fish of the day, and we've been here for about 15 20 minutes. Like I was saying, you find a bait and you start to find where these fish are, you could catch a lot of trout during the winter. That's why you get out here, get off the couch, get into the outdoors, and channel your inner outdoors. That's not inside, that's outside. <sighs> that's sick. On the power bait worm right there, literally just put this bait on, just caught a fish. That is sick. This is actually right where I call my PB back in 2018. The last day of 2018 called a 28 inch brown. That was crazy. I was also throwing the tube jig. Flashback to that one. Big fish. Big brown trout. Can we end off 2018 on a banger?
But we got a lot more trout fishing coming your way. We got about two hours left to fish today. We're walking way upstream and we're gonna catch more fish. So don't worry, the GoPro's finally, hopefully, maybe gonna work for the next couple fish catches. Midway through the day breakdown, no more fish after that last one. So we're gonna keep walking upstream. Don't be afraid to change spots when you're trout fishing, especially during the winter. You gotta find where the fish are. And if they're not there, or if they're not biting, or not figuring it out, keep on moving, don't worry, don't look back. Just keep fishing. 